Greetings. Greetings. Greetings, guys. Welcome. Welcome to the Desert Heart Sanctuary, into the inner realms where we paint divine beings, celestials, vortexes, portals, all the different pathways to heaven or to the to the other realms, to wisdom, to understanding, to a connection with the divine beings, to remembering, awakening, getting a sense of actually why you are here on the planet. Whew. All sorts of things happen when you step here through the portals. And I'm your hostess, Dr. Joan Hangarter, Joan of Angels. In fact, we're going to share a little bit about how I went from that transformation from that 3D world of healing and working with people and then stepping through this same portal to be on fire. Today is Awakening to Miracles. That's the name of our 44-day program where we are introducing, and when I say we, I do mean myself and the Masters of Miracles. I guess I'm their talking representative, but honestly, they will represent themselves. So the Masters of Miracles are here teaching and myself here as the paintbrush and their representative right now. So we are doing the 44 days, 44 cards of awakening to miracles your miracles your being able to master your gifts this lifetime your being able to remember why spirit brought you here so that you could start to expand and stretch into a fuller life a life where you feel like you're on fire literally well today's card is the red fire goddess so we're going to talk about that in a second let's bring her up here just for a second give you a little clue but the red fire goddess really is about get, catching in on fire and that's what we're here to do today so awakening to miracles your miracles why your miracles so that you can actually kind of Step into why you're here, your destiny, and be the way shower. This is 2018, guys. So I was told to create the deck kind of in the fall of 2017, stepping out with it now, January 2nd, launching it. Why? Launching it with a whoosh because we're coming out into the out of the portal, an opening, so that we're stepping through. And they don't want us to sit here in that portal. We've spent too many lives, too many times really in that portal. So in the design of all of the cards, actually, if you notice, there's this circle. And each of the cards has an angel or a vortex. There's 44 oracle cards. Each of them has, has that portal. I just noticed it where you can see them. So you see that painting behind me. All of the paintings, this is original art, original well, so funny. Uh, they said to me, well, so not so original, Joan. Come on. Some of these beings have been here forever. It's not like you're really making them up. They exist somewhere. So, whew. so I'm a paintbrush for beings that come through that want to be on a canvas so you can see them, so that you can expand your life, so that you can have a connection, so you can raise your frequency, raise your vibration. Hmm. All those things that happen as you start to open up to who you really are. And it is greater than who you've been. So when I started today's training on card, the red fire angel, she said I had to wear red. So I had to run in the closet and find burgundy. That's as close to red as I have. But why? She said that when you wear red and... So burgundy is a warm color. Yes, she says it will give me some of it, but it's not the passion. So the passion is the red to really infuse yourself so that I can get it from a crystal. So if anyone out there, oh, maybe a ruby or a garnet, a red crystal. So this is information for you too. But wearing and infusing ourselves with the red of the red fire goddess, all right, starts to reignite everything. So we'll start. It gets your blood flowing faster. 
it restructures, reactivates your DNA so that it starts to produce more of what you need to accelerate, to raise your frequency, to walk around with the angels or with your guides or to attract what you want. So you're working on a project like, okay, I've been working on a project of, of sharing these cards. And just by the sheer fact that every day I'm doing several videos, I've been meeting the most extraordinary people because I'm pushing beyond my comfort zone. So stepping into the miraculous means that we allow ourselves, we give ourselves permission to feel our inner beauty and serenity and grace. That is what the card says. She's pretty in her beauty. But it also then says we can move forward with grace and ease. In other words, for mastery, guys, being a type A doesn't get you to the, to the higher dimensions. It doesn't get you to ascension. You just can't be a type A about it because that whole type A behavior is designed for you not to be in the moment and not to process. So better to say things like, thank you, bring me more. Thank you, bring me more. I am opening to the divine. I'm opening to listen to the masters of miracles. So they did a few things with me here today. They told me to bring back my celestial crystal. <clears throat> it's called a Celestine or a Celestine. Isn't that gorgeous? I found this in quartzite. Oh, thank you. It just reminds me. I was wondering what I was going to do this weekend. I'm going to quartzite to pick up some crystals. They actually have the crystal shows. So if you have an opportunity to get some Celestine, that's really good for miracle manifesting with the angels. And uh, this is my green. I better check. This was a gift. It actually helps tune me up so I can receive more information. So in doing these cards, I, I like working with tools that help me keep my vibration, my aura clean and work. Now, they also shared with me that the red fire goddess loves a wand. Hmm. Loves a wand. So the wand is a connector of energy. And with the wand, you can actually swoop across the room like this. All right. Now, I am going to swoop across the room because something in this painting I want to show you. All right. Hoping that you can see and hear me. Okay, I can see myself there. Okay, so here she is surrounded in a heart portal. You can see that. So what does this tell us? That when working with this energy, we want to create a heart portal in our visualization around us. Wow, I'm excited about doing this. Now, from her crown chakra, what do you see? You feel and see this very tremendous vortex of energy right here. So we're going to invoke that. Notice that in her forehead, her third eye area, what do we see but hearts? So she's constantly emitting the passion and fire of the heart of love, of purity. Well, her eyes see everything. I, I just want to fall in there. Notice the angel right here, really just one and just holding her steady. But look up over here. Do you see that UFO, that ship? It is a spaceship that is continually beaming energy down towards her. And when we work with people, when we work with this energy, the good news is that spirit says, let's, Oh, yeah, and I didn't show you that there's almost like a little tail at the very bottom. So, whoa, okay, showing me so many pictures now of how we can use this energy. So, guys, working with me, we're really learning new tools. So, do you see that she's kind of on an angle? Like, let's get my hand in alignment. Oh, that's a little too much. So, here, if it was just like this, trying to line up with that. See that? Right there, north south kind of portal. So much of what we do would be to see this going right through us. And when I do that process where we put our roots down to the center of the earth and we hold our antenna out like this, the energy goes up and down and through us, connecting the heavens with the earth. So the red fire angel is just showing me. I mean, I'm just looking at that and I am really truly 
truly blown away. You can't see it so much on the card because remember the card's only, it's a small card. It can only capture the essence of it, but you sort of see that little, looks like a stem, but you do capture the red heart. And actually she's got a lot of angels on her that aren't on the original. So, huh, we're, in, oh, okay. So that's really interesting. She probably came, we put them in there. There you have them. Who knows? It's the mystery, mystery, mystery. We've got to be good with that. Okay. So working with this energy that's moving through us kind of like this, all right? Connecting our poles. Now, spirit likes this concept of us being constantly receiving energy, receiving energy, replenishing our energy, and being a constant stream of this flow. Now we're talking about passion. So passion usually comes out in bursts, but she's actually saying not, it's not so this concept of grace and ease. It's not that burst of energy. Rather, it's really more or less like a, a constant focused, intense energy, like a light bulb, not uh, something that's so bright it burns out. So her work is about helping us build this from the inside out, really feeling it, knowing that we can take our time, that we, you know, that we don't have to fall flat on our face, do it so fast, we don't dot our I's and T's and, and forget the caps, you know, very much about being in the moment and working your groove, working your groove, but constantly tuning in so that you are receiving this constant stream of energy from the other side, from the other realms, from the interdimensional realms, and that beautiful spaceship. I do have a lot of art around that does have spaceships, spaceships and angels, spaceships and divine beings that come from other planets. If you go to joanofangels.com, you'll see the Arcturian, You'll see some of the UFO paintings contact where, oh, there is one over there, but I, I can't turn the computer for you. Okay, now, these are many of the processes. This Awakening to Miracles was decided that this was going to be a training program, 44 cards where we were going to take you in here and allow new information to come through, new for you, new for me, to process and to help lift your frequency so you can not only connect with the 44 oracle cards, but that you can become a miracle maker in your own right. And so I've collected a pile, a collection of what I call my miracle toolkit. What is the miracle toolkit? Well, the miracle toolkit is the miracle thinking processes. It's the meditations. It's the guidance. It's the cards, specifically the cards. And it's the book that I wrote many years ago called uh, the Miracle Makers Club. Did you know you are a miracle maker? Live the prosperous and soul-filled life that you deserve today. And it says, welcome to the club. So let me tell you that the club is about to be re, uh, relaunched in a very brand new way. And if you sign up at Awakening to Miracles, I am sure that once spirit shows me exactly the way, you will be the first to know. Also, you will be able to get signed up so you can receive a card every day, the featured card with the videos and all the information about any of our live events and the cards. So how you can get the decks. Yes. Hmm. Now, look at the back. It's a lo lotus with miracles being handed to you. I just think that's so beautiful. The decks were designed by Debbie Garcia, meaning that she took my original artwork and she did the graphics so that it comes out and, and the, the wording so that each of them is in their own portal. So you could dance with them, sing with them, make music with them, go up on the ships and hear their messages and their musings. All right, so right now, we are going to listen to see what this message is. So it's messages. No, they said 
Miracles are manifesting wherever I go. Show me the, the information I need to know. Whoa. Didn't know that, guys. Okay. Angel activation. Oh, my. Oh, my. So I love the way they do this. I'm talking to you. I said I have several paintings here in the sanctuary. They want to go home with you that are our saucers, spaceships. And here I pulled the card. You can see the, the ship. Some of the angels ascending. Land is below it. And what is the card? Angel activation. You are. So if you're listening to this now or it's the morning, you're going for your morning miracles. Repeat after me. I am receiving energetic upgrades, assisting me to raise my vibrations and manifest miracles. I am receiving energetic upgrades to raise my vibration and manifest miracles. Whoa. And it is the most precious card. And there is sacred symbols around the cards. Well, the rest of the deck just flew out of my hands. 44 card pickup down there. All right. Yes. Angel activation. So the energy is pretty intense. But no fear because I am pulling another card from the other one. So receiving those vibratory frequencies, they say that as we receive these vibratory frequencies, we then shift our consciousness into the energy of that tin. So we start to beam out that light. Everyone who comes in our org field feels it and receives their energetic upgrade. They step into their work. They start to feel aligned with what they're here to do. <clears throat> which is kind of intensely beautiful because then at that moment, then those people waiting for them to awaken, awaken. And before you know it, we are spreading miracle seeds across the planet. So this is my other copy. I don't want to just get there and go get the cards off that floor. So we are going to, these are my artist draft because I had to play with them for quite a long time before I could actually put them in the printer at the printer's. And what are we going to experience as a result of the angel activation? Well, beloved, a rebirth. Life is calling you. Oh, step through the portal. This is an Ankh, one of the series. Actually, this Ankh is in the other room, a little bit different. Actually, this Ankh is in a beautiful sanctuary up in the mountains. Life is calling you. New opportunities for growth. Miracles are manifesting, beloved. Miracles are manifesting miracles are manifesting remember that so what are we doing we are learning how to awaken to our miracles by doing rituals by doing processes by working with celestial angelic frequencies allowing the the the, the steps the guidance the messages the tingling in our bones when we know we're hearing truth and that's what's so exciting about what I do. I get to be a miracle conduit. I have been showing you the things that have been the miracle pathway that restored my life and my children's. You know, I, I tell the story when we lost everything, we were guided to form the Miracle Makers Club. And as a result of that, we were able to write this first book and really shift our life in those ways that are bringing out these miracle tools. All right. So. Checking to see if there's anything else they want you to know. Yes. So here in the sanctuary, miracles do manifest. Many people come here for healings. We do a lot of work laying on of the hands and energy. We One of my major things is to help you understand where your imbalances are, and we remove them. Angel activations. There is also a switch right here right between your skull and your and your brainstem and your first vertebrae. It's an angel activation switch. We do open that up a little bit to allow information to flow through. And we do our miracle activation sessions, which really help remove any obstacles to creating and launching miracles in your life. Meaning to have what you need this life, to live your dream, to share your best gifts with the world and to come out courageously. And so, it's really my honor and my privilege to be the paintbrush for these cards, to share them with you. 
to be reading them with you, to teach you how to read them and how to use the energy. They're very, they're thin in a certain way. They're delicate. And it reminds you of your connection to spirit. And I like to put them on my third eye so I can receive their energy. The energy today of the red fire goddess. Remember what she's doing. She's infusing you with your passion. She's infusing you with the knowledge that, yes, you can. Yes, we're with you. Yes, you are in the path of what you set out to do. Yes, you are being infused continually. You won't run out of energy. None of this work will drain you because you're being constantly infused with their energies. Anyway, I'm so glad you joined us. Share the workout with your friends, your family, your loved ones. Get a deck for yourself and everyone you know. Go to Awakening to Miracles 2018.com so you can, number one, get the series so you can get the card, the video. It's free. All right. I like to know people are watching the trainings. I do. I'm an oracle, a teacher. It, it fills my heart. Number two, so you can find out when we launch our secret Miracle Makers Club activation group where you'll have a lot of private time with me for that. Number three, you can find out more about the Miracle Toolkit. Get your card deck and and whatever books appeal to you. Number four, you can, with the help of these tools, start to remember that you are a miracle maker, a master, that you know how to do this, that it is safe, that with ease and grace you can come in, come out, share your work, and that you can be part of a group, of a, of a collective that's really working with angels, undercover angels, so that we can be seen, so that we can do what we came here to do. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You've been here in my sanctuary, the Desert Heart Sanctuary, and I am Joan of the Angels. Bye for now.